David Allen, um, I'm a resident here and I also head up the Save Lancaster House campaign. Lancaster House is a training and resettlement centre. Um, people come in when they've lost everything and they're homeless. Um, they live here, during that time they are offered help and support with their various issues from mental health to um, just general disabilities, um, we have people here that have had problems in the past with drinking, with drugs and with alcohol, uh, with gambling. Anyone here isn't drinking anymore, anyone here isn't taking drugs anymore, they're here to sort of rebuild their lives from scratch and this is what Lancaster Help House and Positive Lifestyles help us to do. Uh, there's 38 people at the moment. Um, on average it's about 180 to 200 people a year. Salford Council have decided not to renew the funding. Um, they're very adamant that they're not closing Lancaster House and their decisions are not closing Lancaster House. Um, to me that's whatever wants to ease their conscience. What they're doing is withdrawing the funding and hence withdrawing the service. This place could stay here as a DOS house but that wouldn't be good for anyone, for the people that live here, for the local neighbourhood, for Salford. Um, which we're fighting it, which we're trying to do everything we can to keep this place open and to keep helping the people of Salford. There wouldn't be a service because there wouldn't be staff, there wouldn't be the staff that go above and beyond the call of duty every single day of the week. Um, and without that there is no service, Lancaster House would have to close its doors, 38 people would end up on the streets and the people of Salford wouldn't have that service there to help them through these tough times. It angers me and it upsets me because at the end of the day I know that in the end I'll find somewhere else to live but the place, this place offers so much support and help and it's helped me so much from being a shell, from being nothing, from having no spirit there left to where I am now. And it angers me that a, a, a council that's there to serve the people of Salford are enforcing something on them that they don't really want because 8,000 people have signed a petition to say otherwise. To me that's not democracy, that's, that's dictatorship. very difficult. There's no private landlords out there at the moment and the ones that do want to charge atrocious amounts of money for nothing. There's no social housing out there. People in here have been bidding now for some of them for nine months um, and they've not been offered anywhere so there's, there's, there's just no housing out there. There is no housing out there. If there was people wouldn't have ended up in here in the first place. There's a real danger, in fact, Hass were here just yesterday helping people out, well, I say helping, advising people and their, their message was clear, we can't help you until you are out on the streets on the 1st of October. We, from myself and from Positive Lifestyles, have requested various meetings with the council. Most of them have been rejected. The ones we have gone to have been very unproductive. The council don't want to get round the table and negotiate. They want us to, they want us to take this to court now. We just want to get round the table and work out how best we can move forward together.